Well, this is going to be round five with Harvey. Uh, night's getting ready to fall, and it's supposed to be coming back ashore uh, August 29th, 2017. Time now is about 6.30 p.m. Hurricane Harvey, it really sort of devastated this community. I mean, this is like the fourth hurricane that my family and I have had to run from, and it brought a huge surge of water with it. And when that surge came in, we had all of our plants go into shutdown mode. And when they go into shutdown mode, that means that they're not processed. And a lot of the product that's stuck in the pipelines have to be sent to the flares and burned. So what you get dumped into the air is raw benzene, 1,3-butadiene, all these dangerous toxic chemicals, many of them carcinogens like benzene that causes cancer, and uh, um, it, it, it wreaked havoc. We'll run a fence line along here, we'll integrate the concentration along okay. here, and if we see anything elevated, we'll stop, and then okay. we'll sample that plume. Excellent. Determine what's in, the, what's in that plume, if it's right in the detex chemicals. Right here is Total, French-owned company. Okay. This is a chemical plant, and that is a refinery, Total Refinery, okay. Huntsman Chemical. Sulfur dioxide is always an issue, of course, when you have a shutdown situation. But before we left, the air was just heavy with this tar type chemical smell, very pungent and everybody was kind of like this, man that air stinks. Right. We're here with the Aroma Chemical Analyzer. It's a tool that we've developed to detect chemicals in the environment. It's a tool that lets us detect chemicals very rapidly, very accurately, and with very high specificity so we can positively identify which chemicals there are in the atmosphere and determine if those are chemicals which threaten your health. On Monday, September 4th, about a week after Harvey was in the area, we found concentrations of benzene uh, that were uh, up to 300 parts per billion in a neighborhood of Manchester, which is adjacent to a refinery in the Houston area. And those are more than a thousand times higher than what you'll experience every day driving to work. And those concentrations are already above the levels that we'd like to see. And there is a cancer risk across the population because of those levels. And these levels were much higher than those levels. I'm fighting to keep our air clean so that our kids can have clean air and clean water to drink by pushing these plants to do the right thing and to reduce the number of emissions that are being emitted from their facilities, to push them to put in new units instead of using the same antiquated equipment year after year. If we want people to get off of fossil fuels, let's get real about it. Let's step up our efforts.